Hello everyone, Jace Marino here, and I look after Microsoft Teams platform for our customer success group. And I thought today we'd start our first video around applications in Teams with a bit of background on where to find applications in the first place and what's possible. So there are really three different locations within Teams where you can find which applications are available to you and your team and your organization. Now, I'm gonna go explain a couple details here as we go through because your experience might look a little bit different than mine when you go in. But the first place and the most common place to go find apps in Teams is the App Store. Very similar to the same App Store you have on your iOS device or your Android device, we've got an App Store built into the Teams experience down there on the bottom left. And it either says Apps or Store, depending on which version you're on. And when you go into the App Store, we've got categorically organized applications over on the, le on the left-hand side. The top are app capabilities, and the bottom are categorical based usually on industry and or use case like project management. And then normally what happens is if you go into something like project management as an example, some of the more popular applications will be prioritized for you up at the top based on how many organizations are using those apps. Finally, if your organization has built some personal applications for you, so what we call internal line of business applications, or these tools that you need to use that were built by your company or your organization, you can also have a private store right there that'll show you the apps available to you and only you within your organization. Now, one thing to note here, we give tenant admins or the people who are responsible for rolling out Microsoft Teams to your organization, the ability to shut down certain applications for security and compliance reasons or enable them for the same reasons. And so if you don't see a full set of applications when you jump in here, that's why. So make sure you get in contact with somebody who's likely in your IT department who can help you get the application that you need. Now you can also access applications right here on the ellipses. This is the quick access bar. So it'll show recent applications that you've been using. Just click on that as you're anywhere in Teams. And then inside of a Teams channel, let me go over to my Teams tab here. So I'm inside one of our customer channels that we have right here, and I can go up and I can add an app via a tab as well. So if you're in a Teams channel, tabs are these tab capabilities right here. So think the same concept as any web browser that you're used to. And you can add applications inside of the Teams experience as tabs, and it can go much further than that. But given this is our first video, let's start simple. And I've got a variety of applications here that I can also search for that are available to me to pre-pin right in the Teams application experience. Now, what I've actually done is I've pre-pinned a few applications on this one. And you can see this right here is actually a YouTube channel that I've pinned as an application. So this is just a website tab that I've pinned for some of our customers to go see some videos or where we've interviewed their peers around the globe. Okay, so let's say that you jump into Teams, you follow my video, and you don't see any applications available to you that were not built by Microsoft. That's a bummer, but again, it's, a, it's, a, it's an opportunity that we give every single tenant admin around the globe the ability to monitor based on security and compliance within your organization. What you can do, however, is here is a direct link to our public-facing app source page, which is our app catalog, if you will. And you can see we're going to give you the direct link for all Microsoft Teams filtered applications. There's about 564 as of today when I filmed this video. And you can scroll down, you can find all the applications that are available. Or if you want, search for an application. So let's say that your team uses Salesforce quite regularly. You can type in Salesforce here and get the connection. Or let's say that your team was moving over from Slack and you loved Poly. Cool. You can get it right here and then you can find access to the application. Um, so a bunch of different information on here and how these applications show up and render. So I hope that was helpful. Again, this is just phase one to show you where applications are available. As we evolve this journey, we'll talk about why applications are available and then start showing you some incredible ways to leverage applications within the Microsoft Teams Canvas.